Let's solve this together. It says x raised to the power half is equal to x squared. We're going to solve for the value or values of x in this equation, okay? Now, first things first, you can say let's square both sides. So we have x raised to the power half raised to the power 2 or squared is equal to x squared squared. Recall the law of indices that says that a raised to the power m or raised to the power of n is equal to a raised to the power m multiplied by n, okay? So here, what's the power? 2 we strike 2 to give us 1. So we have x to be equal to 2 times 2 is 4, okay? Now from here, we now have that our x raised to the power of 4 minus x is equal to 0, okay? Now at this point, we can say let's factor out x from this equation. So we have x factored out into x minus, sorry, x raised to the power 3 here. We left minus 1 is equal to 0, okay? Now, at this point, we now have a situation where the product of two things are equal to zero. It's either that this is equal to zero or this is equal to zero, okay? As a rule. Now, so it's either x is equal to zero or x cubed minus one is equal to zero, okay? Now, if x cubed minus one is equal to zero, we can write this as x cubed minus 1 is 1 cubed, okay, is equal to 0, okay? So this is not difference of 2 cubes. We can say, let's use the law of difference of 2 cubes to solve this, okay? So if you have a cubed minus b cubed, it's equal to a plus, sorry, a minus b multiplied by a squared plus ab plus b squared. Applying this law here, we will now have that this becomes, okay, x minus 1 multiplied by x squared, okay, plus 1 times x is x, plus 1 squared is 1, all right? And this is equal to 0. Again, we now have a condition where the product of two things are equal to 0. So it's either that this is equal to 0 or this is equal to 0. So it's either that x minus 1 is equal to 0, which implies that x is equal to 1, or our x squared plus x plus 1 is equal to 0, okay? This is a quadratic equation. But we cannot factorize this, so we we'll solve this with the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula states that our x here is going to be equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, okay? Now, a is the coefficient of x squared, which is 1, b is the coefficient of x, which is 1, and c is also 1, okay? So this is equal to minus 1 plus or minus 1 squared is 1 minus 4 times 1 is 4 divided by 2 times 1, which is 2. This is now equal to minus 1 plus or minus root of negative 3 over 2. Moving on from here, we can now say that our x is equal to minus 1 plus or minus root of negative 3 can be really expressed as i. Okay, so we have i times root of 3 all over 2, okay? So this is what our x is, or x is equal to 0, or x is equal to 1, okay? So these are the four answers for x in this question. Thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, please like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video.